Almost 900,000 Canadians are frequently exposed to diesel exhaust fumes at work. According to a recent estimate by Health Canada, diesel exhaust pollution alone costs over $5 billion in premature mortality and morbidity in just one year. Now imagine you work on a construction site, or perhaps in a factory, and are constantly exposed to diesel engines. You might start to wonder how all this exposure affects your health. Well, we do know that long-term exposure to diesel exhaust increases risks for heart and lung diseases. Some of the proposed mechanisms for these health effects include oxidative stress and inflammation. However, these mechanisms are not specific to diesel exhaust and have poorly defined dose-response relationships. In short, we don't know how much diesel we have to breathe in to feel health effects, and there are currently no reliable tools to assess these health effects specific to diesel exhaust. And that's why for my thesis, the DICE study, I investigate the dose response to diesel exhaust exposure. By studying this dose response, I intend to identify protein markers that are specific to diesel exhaust exposure. These protein markers can then be combined to make a more specific biosignature. We are currently recruiting healthy non-smoking volunteers into this double-blinded crossover study, where they are exposed to either filtered air or different concentrations of diesel exhaust at the air pollution exposure lab. Exposures last for hours and are built to mimic real-world situations. Now, before and after each exposure, we collect urine, blood, nasal samples, and conduct lung function tests. With these biological samples and data, we intend to identify proteins that change in the blood. Secondly, we will identify metabolites in urine. And lastly, we will investigate changes in lung function and airway responsiveness. Now, once validated, this research has broad practical implications. First, the biosignature we identify could be developed into a reliable health monitoring tool. This could be used by clinicians to identify and treat diseases caused by diesel exhaust exposure. More importantly, this research could be at the forefront of a biomarker-based approach to setting occupational and public health safety guidelines. Essentially, policymakers could use information from this study to set exposure limits and to protect and compensate workers who are exposed to diesel exhaust. In the long term, the markers we identify could provide insight into the health effects of diesel exhaust as well as provide potential therapeutic targets. Now, if you find all this amazing research breathtaking, you are invited to join our study at the Air Pollution Lab. <laughs> or at least you could join to help me graduate faster. <laughs> Thank you.